here's the Christmas tree. Oh, me. Oh, my. Ferdinand sighed. Do you think that's right? I don't know. It'll be fine with a star. That's right. Suddenly, the logging locos heard the hooting and tooting of engines on the track. It's party time! Sir Topham Hat and the other engines chuffed and puffed in. Welcome to the Merry Misty Island Party! That's right! Then there was trouble. Old Wheezy and Hee Haw started to cough and to splutter. Then they jittered and juttered. Baubles and bells bounced and bumped. Streamers and stars shuddered and shook. Then, Old Wheezy rocked and rolled. And the Joby Log Christmas tree flew high in the sky and splashed into the pond. Sir Topham Hatt was cross. This isn't fun at all. Bash Dash and Ferdinand were upset. We wanted to have the best party of all. But now it's the worst. That's right. We didn't want to be helped. And now it's a mess. We were silly. Will you help us now, Thomas? Of course I will. We, we all will. That's right. So Thomas helped Ferdinand choose a Christmas tree. Cranky lent Dash his star. I don't believe it. And the children gave Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand handmade decorations. They're for your Misty Island party. Later, all the engines and Sir Topham Hat were at the logging station for the Misty Island party. Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand looked round. They wished with wonder and puffed with pride. Thank you all for helping us. And thank you for being our friends. You have made this the best winter holiday party of all. Very Misty Island. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Then crashed with a crunch and a crack onto the track in front of Thomas. Thomas gasped. The star is broken. Now my friend's wishes might not come true. And it's all my fault. How can I get the star to Knapford now? Sir Topham Hat and the other engines will be waiting. Maybe, just maybe, my wish will come true. Thomas closed his eyes. I wish that one of my friends would come to help me. Suddenly, Percy, Henry, and James whooshed towards him. Thomas's wheels wobbled with wonder. We saw the star of Knapford fly high in the sky. Are you all right, Thomas? Thomas looked at his friends. Then he looked at the broken star. I have been a very silly engine. I wanted you all to make wishes, so I didn't go straight to Knapford. I puffed too far and too fast. Please, will you help me? Thomas's friends were happy to help. Percy watched the star. Henry fetched workmen to fix it. And Thomas and James found Rocky. They huffed him quickly to the star. Soon, the workmen had fixed the star. Rocky lifted it carefully back onto Thomas's flatbed. Thank you all. Now we must hurry to Knapford. So, together, the engines wished and they whooshed 
across Sodor. They arrive just in time. Everyone watched as Rocky put the Star of Mapford high above the station. Then they clapped and cheered as the star was switched on. It shimmered and shone brightest of all. Thank you, Percy, Henry, Rocky, and James. I'm very lucky to have you all as friends. I'm sorry that your wishes didn't come true. Mine did. I wished that we'd all be together under the star of Knapford. So did I. So did I. Thomas smiled from footplate to fender. His friend's wishes had come true. And that made Thomas happiest of all. You should slow down, Gordon. I don't listen to funny, frumpy engines. I am Gordon. I'm fastest and best and pull the express. Then there was trouble. Gordon hit a bump in the track. The flathead jumped, and with a splash and a crash, the Lion of Sodor tipped and toppled into the muddy marsh. Gordon heard the squelch and the squish. He screeched to a stop. I've lost the Lion of Sodor. It's a disaster. Oh, the indignity. That's right. Gordon groaned. I didn't want anyone to see me. And now no one can see me, and no one is here to help. Ferdinand smiled his funny smile. I'm here, Gordon. I can help. Gordon's wheels wobbled. Pumping pistons. I have been grumpy, Gordon. I thought I was grander than you. I was wrong. I see now you are a very grand friend. Ferdinand, would you help a funny, frumpy engine like me? Of course I will. I'll go and get Rocky right away. You look after Mr. Lion. And Ferdinand rattled away. Later, Rocky had lifted the Lion of Sodor onto the flatbed. Thank you, Rocky. Happy to help, Gordon. I'm sure Victor will have the lion glossy and gleaming in no time. That's, That's right. right. At the steamworks, Victor was happy. There you are, Gordon. The lion of Sodor is shining like a star. Thank you, Victor. Then Gordon gulped. Ferdinand, I have a plan. We will pull the lion of Sodor along all the busiest tracks to the summer house, and you will be the front engine. Ferdinand giggled and jiggled with joy. I am the luckiest engine on Sodor. So Gordon, Ferdinand, and the Lion of Sodor puffed proudly. Wherever they chuffed, they were cheered. Ferdinand felt very, very grand. At last, they arrived at the Duke and Duchess's summer house. The Duke and Duchess were surprised to see Ferdinand. Who are you? This is my friend, Ferdinand. Gordon grinned, and he couldn't have felt grander. <laughs>